What's going on guys, it's Barry from the Yamar Academy and today we're going to show you how to mount and dismount the belly mower on your SA Series tractor. Alright guys, so first thing we want to do in order to mount or dismount our mower is we want to make sure that the tractor is parked on a flat level area, you got plenty of room around to work and your front tires are dry and clean. Before we get started, let's go ahead and throw some gloves on, make sure our hands are protected and safe. All right, so now we're gonna install the mower. We wanna drive the tractor straight back over top of it. Use these red brackets here as guides as you're pulling the tractor over. When we pull it on, what we wanna do is we wanna bring the back tires to touch the back side of the mower deck here, and then we'll go from there. All right, so now that we got the mower in place, first thing we want to do is get off the tractor, make sure your parking brake's set. Come down here and make sure that the mower is squared up against our tractor. This one looks pretty good, so we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get back on the tractor, start it up. We're going to lower our three point so that our rear center drag link here drops down, and then we're going to back it up into the hooks back here. All right, so now that the center link is in its hooks, we want to lock it into place. To do that, we're going to grab the silver handle, pull it back, twist it around, and then we want to make sure that the locks go around each of the center drag link pins. And we're good to go. All right, so now we want to install our front drag link. We'll go ahead and lift it up, put the black bar inside of the locks, ensure that the silver piece is latched in. Go ahead and twist it up to lock it into place. Take our lock, twist it back around, and we're good. All right, so now we want to install our PTO shaft. So go ahead and grab it up. Ensure that the collar is pushed back. Go ahead and lock, line it up on there, push it forward, ensure your collar locks forward. And there we go. All right, guys, so to install the casters, just go ahead and slide the bar in between these two gaps here and then just set it to whatever your desired mow height is. One thing to always remember is the front caster is the one that spins. Do not drive on the mower deck with the wheel casters attached to the mower deck. Damage to the wheel casters will result. The mower deck must sit flat on the ground. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to remove these casters off of either side of the mower. Uh, there's two locking pins, so go ahead and just pull those clips out and then remove the pins and remove the casters. All right, so now that the casters are off the mower, what we want to do is we want to lower the mower to the ground. To do that, we'll grab our three-point hitch control lever, push it forward, and allow the mower to go to the ground. All right guys, so next thing you wanna do is you wanna remove the drive shaft. Back here, there's a lock collar. Go ahead and push it towards the mower to unlock it, and then just slide the drive shaft off. All right, now we wanna remove the front drag link. To do that, we're just gonna grab the silver handle here, pull it out, twist it to unlock it, grab your black handle, pull it towards you to disconnect it. All right, so the final step we wanna do is disconnect our rear drive link. So what we'll do is pull this out, and twist it, now we're unlocked. All right guys, so now that the mower is disconnected, last step we need to do is get on the tractor, start it up, pull it forward just enough to take those rear locks out of that rear drag link off the mower, raise the three point up, and then back off the mower. There you have it guys, four simple easy steps that'll get your mower back in the yard and mowing your grass. Until next time, I'll see you at the MR Academy.